Hey guys, today's video is about six secret features inside Affinity Designer version 2 you need to know. And the first secret feature is that we can use the color picker outside of Affinity Designer um, as well. So for example, if we're making this window a little bit smaller, we can also use the color picker right here to pick the color of this image, which is from unsplash.com, or also to pick the color of my desktop wallpaper like this. Um, not only from objects inside Affinity Designer, so um, also from objects outside if you're uh, making the window of Affinity Designer smaller, as you've seen right here. And the next secret feature is that you also have the possibility to easily um, add noise to our colors inside Affinity Designer. So if we take those um, circles and half circles, for example, and we can simply go to color right here and then no, um, click on opacity right here to switch between opacity and noise and we then can easily set up the noise. We also have the same setting right here in the top bar underneath fill and again click on opacity to switch between opacity and noise and set it down or up depending on our needs and we can change the color and set up um, noise again so it is a little bit better visible zooming in and setting it up and you can see that way we can easily add noise to our colors inside Affinity Designer and switch between opacity, make it to zero again and set this color to white again. And the next secret feature you need to know is the X-ray and outline mode we have in Affinity Designer. So we can easily um, change the view mode by going right here to view and then going to view mode and then going not to vector but to wireframe and then we have x-ray and outline. Outline gives us the outline of our objects even if we haven't set any stroke color. And if we're going with view mode um, x-ray we have a mixed view mode between outline and vector so we now have our filling colors um, only visible a little bit um, with a little bit of opacity um, like this. And one um, important feature as well is that we can also um, split our view so we can have two view modes uh, in our document at the same time. So by going to view mode and then going to split view and we can then set one of those to one view mode and the other side to the other view mode we want. So we can change it by clicking on it so it is a little bit darker than going to view view mode and then we can go to wireframe for example outline right here and right here we can click again go view view mode and set this to vector and if we now move this we can switch between the outline and the vector view of our design and it also adjusts if we are zooming out or into our um, view like this and we can set it back by going to view, view mode and then single view. Another cool feature in Affinity Designer is that we can select all objects with the same color uh, in, an easy, um, uh, in easy steps. So for example, we want to select all of the um, objects with um, orange as a filling color. So we can change the filling color. We only need to select one of them, for example, this rectangle then going to the top right here, going to select and then clicking select same and then we're choosing fill color and we're selecting now all of the objects in our um, document which have the same fill color and we can then for example set it to blue or to a red tone and um, to easily adjust all of the objects with the same color which can be very very helpful in uh, more advanced designs and um, we can now set it back and as you've maybe already seen, we also have the possibility to select um, also the same objects with the same uh, the objects with the same stroke color. Of course, we need to set a stroke and a stroke color first. Then this is also possible, and also fill and stroke color both. And the last two secret features. I want to present in this video are power duplicate and isolation mode. So um, power duplicate is uh, um, a powerful method to um, duplicate not only objects but also steps we have done between um, those objects. So um, for example if you have this triangle with our 
normal move tool selected and we want to duplicate this triangle we can do so by um, simply using command c and command v to copy and paste or control c control v um, for windows or we can use command j um, which duplicates our object um, directly and if we now move the object for example to the right or spin it um, like this and we then we are going back now and we then press command j again so we're moving to the right and then pressing command j again we automatically repeat the steps before so not only duplicating our object but also um, duplicating the steps we did before and that way we can easily make this line for example we can also use this feature in combination with our transform origin to duplicate objects around a shape or around a point in our document as you can see right here so um, we can for example click on this circle then in the top bar right here we have the possibility to enable transform origin it looks like this then we have this transform origin and we can then move it in the middle of our circle by holding down shift we are moving a straight line and like this by having snapping activated with um, the snapping settings we can also snap with the transform origin and we can then use command j to, uh, to duplicate hold down shift and right here to move in uh, 15 degree steps and then simply press command j again and that way we can easily um, duplicate this circle around the other circle and as already said, we can also um, use um, this combination to duplicate around a single point in our document. So it don't need to be an object. So for example, holding down shift again, moving to the top like this and um, duplicating using command and J and um, control and J if you're a Windows user and moving with shift um, 45 degrees to the left and then simply pressing command J again and duplicating in the same um um, angles and with the same objects sometimes it looks like this if we don't have it um, exactly from the angles right here and our next secret feature um, I want to show and also the last one is isolation mode so um, if we are looking at this artboard right here the last artboard we have a lot of objects and we have the possibility to only display one of those objects by simply clicking option and uh, holding down option and then clicking on one um, of those objects for example this orange circle holding down option and clicking on it in the layers tab um, if it's not selected before will now only show in our whole document um, this orange circle and if we now click somewhere in our document like here um, we get our normal view back and if you're a Windows user, um, you have to use um, con uh, Alt plus click. So um, holding down Alt and then clicking on the object you want to um, view um, isolated. And if you're a Mac user, again, hold down Option and then click on one object to view it isolated and click in the document again to get back to the normal view. And that's going to do for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully see you in next video and bye.